to Soho Trent and the world. This is Six Towns Radio. Time for a guest. Over to the telephone right now. I've got Joe from Blitz Kids on the line. How are you doing, Joe? Hello, mate. How's it going? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> yeah, we, we are good today. Um, I've just said to you off air that you're like one of the busiest guys around. Your band is doing really well um, and you've had a bit of time off. I believe that you went down to Wembley. We did. We went to see Crew um, beat South End 2-0 at Wembley. Had a few beers with the lads and uh, yeah, now we're back in the studio rehearsing again today and we're going to watch the uh, this Man United derby oh, yeah. uh, later as well. That song, because you're big football fans. But yeah, that is great for crew. Uh, we're over in Stoke-on-Trent. You might have played over here in Stoke-on-Trent one or two times at the Sugar Mill or the Underground. Yeah, we've done a few gigs there. Stoke Underground, Sugar Mill. Uh, can't remember what that... Is it Fat Cats? Oh, yeah. Is that, is that a place still? Yeah, a bunch of places. We played in a tiny little hole. Uh, where is it? I can't remember. We played loads of places in Stoke. <laughs> yeah, there's quite yeah. a few. But yeah, um, I've been following your career. It's great to see a band just up the A500 doing so well. Um, I can't think of anyone <laughs> yeah, else. Just up the A500. Who else from Crew well, has got... done all right? Harry <laughs> uh, Styles done all right for himself, hasn't he? Yeah, he's up that he's way, isn't he? Crew, but he's from Home's Chapel. But I've been trying to think of famous right people from Crew. Nicky Powell's done all right. Yeah, from yeah. Crew, he moved to United. Yeah, there's been a couple of footballers, but other than that, I think uh, she's an aide Reed. She's from Crew, isn't she? The BMX star. Yeah, yeah, she is as well. Yeah, Dario G's from Crew, isn't he? Yes, <laughs> yes, they had a the number two hit in in 1997 with Sunshine. One more I could think of is the guy off Eggheads with the glasses, Chris. He's from Crew, but that's it. <laughs> I think right, he is. Okay. I think he is. But yeah, you signed to Red Bull Records recently. Um, that is a massive did indeed. move for your career. And you're getting ready to release a single in May on our own. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we're releasing a single called On My Own. And that's the first release on Red Bull Records. And it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's our best song that we think we've put out, like, so far. So we're really happy with, like, the, uh, the reaction to it, which has been, like, off the charts. And, uh, yeah, we got our first daytime radio play with it on Radio 1. And, you know, the reaction online and stuff to the lyric video has been wicked. And we're shooting a video for it tomorrow. So that's going to go up when it comes out in May. And, yeah, we're just excited to get all the singles off this album out and get it released because we can't wait to play it live yeah. and stuff. Because it's going to be uh, from your second album, isn't it? Yeah, it will be, yeah. Yeah. It's our, uh, it's our first major label effort and it's our second overall album. Yeah, Red Bull are doing better. Everything they're doing in the Soapbox Derby, they've got a football team, a record label, and, of course, the energy drink. <laughs> I know, yeah, they've got Thierry Henry on their football side. Yeah. And uh, also, that that Soapbox Rally, I think they're entering us for it as well, so look out for that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be brilliant. That would be fantastic. Yeah. I watched the adverts for it, I thought I'd love to do that, but I'm so clumsy anyway, so put me on four wheels, it would be a disaster. It really would. Oh, yeah, we won't make it. We won't make it down to the bottom. <laughs> we'll be drunk, we'll just fall, we'll just fall at the first turtle, probably. <laughs> but, but you, you know, it'll be a bit of a laugh. But you're recording the video, and then you're on tour um, with uh, Lower Than Atlantis. That's going to be exciting, because I've noticed the dates go from the 16th to the 25th, non-stop. You're not having a night off. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We're going to Ireland as well for the first time, which is wicked. And, um, yeah, it's the biggest venues we've ever played, most people we've ever played to. And we're good mates with the boys in Lower Than Atlantis, so it's going to be, like, a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds it. Um, but yeah, every night um, without a break. I suppose when you have a break, that gives you a chance to just rest and you don't want to do that. You almost want to keep hitting it, don't you, every night? Yeah, we used to come home because we're right in the centre of the country. So we used to come over every night like when we would do like national tours because we'd always be quite close and we'd think, oh, we'll just go back to our own bed. But then you don't really feel like you're on tour. So now we're just like trying to like get hotels like near the cities we're playing and make sure we're like constantly on tour so we feel like we're always on the road. <laughs> it just keeps you in the mindset and keeps you like giving it like hundred and ten percent like every night. Yeah, um, two local gigs for us really this week are Wolverhampton and Manchester. Uh, I suppose a lot of your friends and family will be coming down to those gigs, won't they? Yeah, I've got a load of family coming down to Manchester. Um, we've got a load of family coming to Leeds as well and Portsmouth because we're all spread out all over but most of our families are coming to Manchester and uh, Wolves because it's closest but both those gigs are going to be wicked we've only played uh, Wolves like a couple of times we played Manchester loads obviously yeah. but um, Wolves is always, always in the crowd 
Yeah, they have quite a lot of rock gigs on down there. Uh, you mentioned that you're, you're friends with Lower Than Atlantis, and I suppose you get to be friends with quite a lot of these rock bands. Every time I speak to a band who's, you know, done things like the Slam Dunk Festival, you tend to do a lot of drinking together and end up getting touring together. That's what it seems to me, anyway. There's all there is to do, mate, honestly. I mean, being in a band, 50% of the time is just drinking. Like, <laughs> it's just like, I mean, what are you going to do? Like, you walk into a room, it's like, it's some free beer, lads. And it's like, all right, well... I guess we'll just add that. <laughs> That's all the, you know, most of the time you link and you get a ride that you come in, you're like, where are the sandwiches at? They're like, no, you just got to create a Carlsberg, mate. <laughs> so, all right, so it's like they're forcing it on you. But yeah, we do make, I mean, we make friends with like all the bands we go on tour with just because we sound lads. Yeah. And, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're not nice, then you're not going to get friends. No. And we're nice. That's good. <laughs> nice yeah. to be nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was South by Southwest because that must have been good times. Oh yeah, it was amazing. It was hot as hell, but like we were over there with Youth Guns, the, the other British band that we yeah. were over there with. So like you know, we just went around with them, just sampling all the barbecue joints. And uh, yeah, there's some beautiful women in Texas, <laughs> beautiful cowgirls. It was very nice, <laughs> very nice place to play. We didn't have too many shows. We only had three shows, and we had like four or five days. So we got to watch City in Colour, and we got to watch Macklemore play, and saw Fallout Boy, which was wicked. It's not like the festivals yeah. over here. It's like loads of bars and, and venues have got different events on. And there's a lot of showcases for record labels, isn't there? Yeah, well, it's kind of like you just wander into a venue and there's people playing all around it. It's, you know, at a festival, there's maybe four stages, whereas South by is like 30 different venues, maybe more. And then you've just got random people playing on the street as well. And, you know, it's not like muddy and like welly like weather. You're just walking down a street where there's like readily accessible food, like drink everywhere, like... It's just awesome layout, and Austin's like an amazing place. <laughs> so you're going to have to be in the gym after this next tour then? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. We'll definitely put on some weight after that. Every time <laughs> we go to America, we come back like two stone heavy. So There's <laughs> always in Chili's every night, just ordering big plates of chicken. Can't be stopped. We're yeah. hounds, mate. Hounds. <laughs> Bigger portions as well, isn't there, over there? Um, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Something you asked, uh, got asked to do recently, which I thought was quite interesting. I'd love to do this. Uh, Krang TV asked you to watch TV for the day and write about what you saw. What did you see? That was uh, Johnny that had to do that. I think they were just uh, bullying him, to be honest, because they didn't fancy paying any interns. So they just thought they'd give him out. They're like, oh, come in. We need you to write some articles for us. So they just got him in. And just got him to watch TV for a bit to write an article for him. I think they're just uh, trying to get some trying to get some pages filled ah. without having to pay anyone because John will John will <laughs> pretty much do anything for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> ah, I see. Because I've seen you. Obviously, you're always in the magazines, Rock Sound, you're in that. Um, of course, Kerrang and quite a few others. Um, do you get asked any bizarre questions in these interviews when you're in? Yeah, I mean, most of the time, most of the, most of the stuff that's most interesting in the magazines now is like just really stupid articles like that watching TV thing or, yeah. you know, we had like a rock and roll granny section where John O's <laughs> nan like had to tell him, tell Karang what she thought of the magazine. She hated it. Like she, she, she thought it was tough. She didn't like it at all. She said there was loads of profanity and she didn't like it at all. Um, but, you know, it's, it's kind of stupid stuff like that that is interesting these days, I guess. <laughs> and then, of course, his front magazine where there's about five pages of music in and the rest is just, well, you know what the rest is. <laughs> that's what sells yeah, the magazines. Yeah, well, we can't complain about that, can we? <laughs> I mean, it's great. It's awesome. Yeah, tattoos, that's what's in there. That's what the other thing was. Have you got any tattoos? Yeah, uh, yeah we've all got tattoos except for the Iceman. And the Iceman, uh, our rhythm section drummer, is uh, tattoo-less. He's the only one without ink. So we need to get him. Uh, we need to get him a big icicle tattooed on his ribs. Yeah, that'd be good. Is there a reason why he's not got any, or it's never happened? I don't know. I think he's just late to the game. It just never happened for him. Mm. But uh, we all get free tattoos from this guy up north in Northwich, um, and so he, he lives down south in Exeter. So we need to get him up north and get him uh, into the chair. Yeah, and I'll make a sort of map. That's great when you've got a mate who'll do that, and obviously it'd be good for his CV having you guys uh, tattooed and ink there. Yeah, well, I think it's, it's almost better for us, to be honest, mate, because he's, like, one of the best in the country. He doesn't even need... I don't even know why he gives us free tattoos, to be fair. We sort him out with tickets to download every now and again, and he seems happy. Yeah. <laughs> Usually we just turn up with, like, a bottle of Jack and sit down, and he just goes to work, and that sounds very unprofessional, and, like, he's doing terrible tats on us, but he's actually very good. <laughs> you just mentioned download. You've got some festivals booked in. Where can uh, the people see you? Besides this uh, tour that you've got coming up, where can people see you in the next few months? Uh, they can come see us. We're opening... The- you can stage at download on the Sunday, so they can come see us 
Volunteers play there. They can also come to Slam Dunk. Uh, Leeds is sold out, but they can still get tickets for... I think they're doing, well, they're doing one in Hatfield. I think there's another one in Wolves. Um, so that's pretty close. Um, they can come to Slam Dunk Festival, which is amazing. Um, and then I think that's all we've got lined up at the moment. It's just TBC <laughs> in the calendar. Yes. Uh, that obviously, I won't say, but we'll just see if we get them in out. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just go follow us on Twitter and you'll find out every gig that we play. Yeah, that's on there, at Blitz Kids. You're on Facebook and everything. I mentioned your single called On Our Own. I know it's on my own, but I was thinking that horse that I backed at the Grand National, that was called On Our Own. You didn't have a fiver on that, did you? I had a ten on it. Oh, you let got me it. down too. Absolutely got it. <laughs> I was in the bin, mate. I was just <laughs> devastated, absolutely devastated. Uh, John who won on the national. He only won about seven quid because he only put like one fifty on. But <laughs> I think me and I spent put a tenner on each, and we didn't get any. We thought it was a sign. Yeah. We, we we were like, oh, it's a sign. It's a sign. We'll put some money on, but nah, it didn't come in. <laughs> Tail to finish. Damn, damn. Yeah, well, uh, my life. well, you've had a great weekend. You've got a, a fantastic week coming up. Uh, enjoy the derby tonight, the Manchester derby. But before you go, I'd like you to introduce on my own for the Six Towns listeners, if you do that. And thank you very much. I will. This is our brand new single, On My Own. We are Blitz Kids. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 